Hi everyone, it's Melody with Design by Melody. I am just giving you a quick overview of this part one of the June 2013 pages in my Project Life book. I do um, two page spread for the month and then I also add 12 by 12 layouts or other size layouts in between that those two pages for the month um, to complete my album. So first I've printed out my photos and I've kind of done a rough layout of what they're going to look like. The top left one is blank because that's where my title card is going to be. I had pre-made a title card but I didn't like it so I'm going to take it out and redo it here. And then also that I Love Summer card is not going to end up there. I was trying to make it work but I just don't think it works with the colors I end up choosing. So I like to do the regular Design A by Becky Higgins, the 4x6 on the top and the bottom, and then the 3x4 in the middle. And sometimes I'll add flaps or additional things to make it, to make it different. Just pulling out my stamps here that I plan on using. I don't really pre-plan anything other than just the photos as I print them. Other than that, I just kind of go as, I, as it comes, you know, scrap as it comes type of thing. This photo is of Father's Day in June. We did a, a little bit of traveling just to go visit some family. And, Kaylin, we don't really have a lot of fields that we just run around in, being that we actually live in a city. But, I mean, we run around in parks, but it's not quite the same as just an open field. And he was fascinated by looking at um, the grass and, you know, the different things that he was seeing. There were actually bees that he, he was looking at as well and kind of chasing. They weren't bothering him. That sounds a little bit scary that I said he's chasing bees, but he was just kind of looking at them, seeing what they're doing. He wasn't messing with them. He was just kind of following them and seeing what they were doing and looking at other little bugs and flowers that were in the grass. So I'm taking this stamp set that you see on the bottom left. It's got a tree, it's got a popsicle, it's got some bugs and watermelon, just summer type of things that, you know, things that remind me of summer. And they had a caterpillar and an ant. So I'm just using some Stamp It Up ink to stamp those out and then cut them out as well. And I kind of wish that the, that the uh, ant was facing the opposite direction so I can kind of have them crawling towards each other whenever I put them down, but they're facing the same direction, so I'm going to kind of fiddle with it here for a moment, figuring out where I want to put it. And you'll see where they settle here in just a moment. I'm going to add a little caption here, and I love these October afternoon alphas, like, love them. And these Lily B Design ones as well. They're really good for putting little captions onto photos. Since I had a lot of open space in the grassy areas of these two photos, it was pretty easy just to just to pick this um, October afternoon tile alpha. It matches the little ant that I stamped. Even though they're from different companies, the stamped, um, the stamped ant is actually from Stamp It Up Inc., but the yellow matches pretty closely. I'm just going to add a caption that says Grassy Wonders. Kaylin is two and a half in this photo. See, I'm really having a difficult time figuring out where I want to put this ant. But he's going to kind of hang off the page and walk onto the page. And that finishes up this card. And I've got my page protector there off to the left just so I can kind of put them in as I go. Also, um, not so much with the 4x6, but I, you have to be very careful with the 3x4 cards to make sure after you put them all together that they fit in the slots. It depends on which page protectors you use, but the um, page protectors are not always exactly the same. So each slot on that 3x4 row um, can be slightly different so just measure or test your cards in the slot before you finalize it just to be sure that they fit. Another um, thing that I'm doing with my Project Life style scrapping is that on the 4x6 photos I'm making sure that they all have a white border just for consistency throughout my album. This is something I started only about a month or two ago so whenever you're flipping through my album you'll see it kind of changed to be that. I'm sorry, Kaylin decided he wanted to come look at the photos that I was scrapping as well before he would let me continue. He doesn't really remember these this time, but he sees the photos enough that, that he knows the stories, which is exactly why I scrapbook. 
I have photos from when he was little, when his brother was little, you know, before they were born, before, you know, Ernest and I met. It's just a way for them to be able to, you know, learn about their family and, you know, document the story so they don't forget these types of things. That's exactly why I scrapbook. Different people scrapbook for different reasons, but for me, it's for our kids. I've got this Echo Park um, collection kit that I'm, I'm using here. I believe it's called Summer Fun. I think that's the name of it, but it is awesome. I love it. So I've kind of held on to it and I'm using it for the summer layouts that I have. I just love the colors. A lot of times the pictures that we take in the summer are outside because we spend a lot of time outside. And so using this paper collection with the bright colors, it just matches the photos because the photos are taken outside when there's a lot better lighting a lot of the times. There's not a lot of inside photos. So the colors kind of match. They're bright and colorful. One of these two little banners I'm actually going to use. I don't have a tiny attacher, which I probably should get one, but I just haven't. Um, so I'm using my regular stapler just to staple on this banner. And I'm going to mess up and it's going to go off the back. And so I have, of course I have to do this because this is I think what I do every time I use my stapler. I have to take it apart and then I re-staple. And this green strip that I'm using is actually just a border strip that was off one of the papers. I like to keep every little bit of paper that I can. Those little scraps that you see right there will be thrown away but if it's more than about three inches long, I'll keep it to use it another time. All right, so there we go. And I always put, I try to flatten the staples on the back and then I always put washi tape over it because I never know what's gonna be on the opposite side and I don't want there to be any chance of it possibly puncturing the other photo or the other card that's on the other side. Just using a couple more um, stickers from the sticker sheet to decorate that. All right, and I'm just laying my photos here on my page protector to see what spaces I have, what gaps I have. So this park that we were in, the grassy photo was at my in-law's house, and then this park is in their town, but it's on the waterfront. So, and that's, it takes the most beautiful pictures there, and you can see there's a playground that Kayla was playing in, a sandbox, which is where him and Ernest are playing in, in that one photo. But I'm sitting on a bench watching them with my mother-in-law, and this is our view. You can see the pier and the water right beyond the um, sandbox, and then Kaylin's just sitting there having a good old time playing in the sandbox. And, you know, on a on a bright sunny day where it's not too hot, this is perfect place to just relax. If we live there, I probably would go down there and read a book or, you know, just kind of hang out. We don't typically actually go down there to the waterfront when we're there, which is kind of interesting because you would think we would more often, but we don't because we're usually busy doing family things. I'm just using a couple more stickers off the sticker sheet. I've got one that says blue skies, um, another one that has a list of things, and it says like relax, play, eat, and I just check the things that we were doing. We didn't swim, um, and I'm trying to think of what else is on that list, but it says fun, eat, play, and run, I believe, or and relax are the things that we did. This is a border strip from the 12 by 12 paper, one that was in the collection kit, and it has this saying, so I'm going to cut it apart. And what it says is, um, the grass is green, the sun is bright, life's a dream, no worries in sight. And I thought it would be a really cute little saying to have on my title card. I'm going to use these foam letter stickers to write June 2013. It just t seems too plain to me, so I'm going to dress it up a little bit. Flipping through the papers that I have left, and this is actually not in the kit, but it was from, um, that yellow one is from a Recollections paper that was just at Michael's, and it's a really thin piece of paper, but I really like the, the yellow ombre effect. So I was playing around with the idea of that. And then I have these 3 by 4 cards that I'm also looking at to see if there's one that I want to use. So I'm going to use this one, and I'm going to set it, I'm going to make it, sideways but you're not going to really be able to see the kite so you're not going to notice other than the sky and the clouds and the sun that's what you're going to see the most of. I'm going to make the top and the bottom one into banners. 
just going to overlap it on. I'm not putting adhesive along the whole thing. So even when they're in my album, they kind of stick up a little bit on the ends. I didn't put any foam adhesive under them. I just put adhesive in the middle. And so they kind of stick up a little bit on the ends. And you can tell that once it's in my album as well. I really like that effect. It gives it a little bit more texture. This border strip again is from the Element sticker sheet. And there's this one cloud. I think there's more on the sticker sheet, but I just don't like wasting. So I'm going to use this one cloud and then I cut off the piece you're not going to be able to see and I'll set it. I'll put it on the other side. I'm just going to kind of curve it a little bit so you don't see the, the sharp cut edges. And it's just going to look like another little cloud sticking out. There we go. And this blue coordinates really well again with it. And it just happens to be, they're not lowercase or, I mean they're all uppercase letters, but that J is longer than all the other letters, so it almost makes it look um, uppercase, which works well. And I'm using the Lily B Design Alphas, they're the ABC stickers, just to put 2013. And I don't have to put this on there, but there's that big space, so I'm going to fill in that space with those numbers. I forgot to trim off a little bit of the cloud, but you can see what I was saying. The All the top and the bottom photos have that white border. Even if there's things that go off to the side, it still has the white clean border, which I think makes it look a little bit more cohesive. If you look at the, I haven't been doing Project Life for that long, but if you look at the um, beginning pages I did for Project Life, you'll really notice that, I mean, they're nice and I really like them, but it seems like they're a little bit all over the place. And it's just because there's not really one cohesive color, I guess, that brings it all together. So that's why I started doing the white, keeping the tops and the bottom, the four by six page apart, and the white borders. And I plan on using the same page protector throughout the whole album. I mean, I'm on June and I've been doing it through through this part of 2013, so I'm going to keep it standard throughout the whole um, 2013 and 2014 albums. I've done um, different months sporadically through 2013 and 14. Um, I haven't done all of either year, but I'm working on it. I just kind of do them as I as I get to it. And then also, um, as you notice here, the top, the 4x6 photos are squared, or 4x6 pockets are squared, and the 3x4 pockets in the middle are all rounded corners. And that's another thing I'm doing consistently throughout the album. And since I cut this 4x6 um, card in half, it says we're having so much. And it didn't occur to me, I mean, I knew I cut off the fun, but it didn't occur to me that it didn't make any sense once I cut off the word fun. So I went back and I found a sticker from the sticker sheet that said fun and just stuck it to the bottom. It's funny how you do things and you know that you're cutting off a big word, but it doesn't really click in your brain until you go back and look at it like, oh, wait, that doesn't make any sense. <clears throat> And this is just another little quirky thing that I do. I don't really like cutting photos to four, three by four and putting just a photo in the pocket. I like having them mount, mounted or matted on other pieces of paper or cards. It's just another little quirky thing that I do in my brain. I don't know. I felt like that photo was getting a bit lost on that striped paper on the background. So I'm adding just a red border around it, or matte to it, so it stands out just a little bit more. And see, this is where I'm saying you have to check to make sure because it doesn't quite fit. And it's no big deal. You can trim off the edges, especially since I don't do anything directly to the edges. It doesn't, you don't notice. I just had to make sure it was still centered. <clears throat> and since we are on the water, I'm going to use this water or wave pa paper in the background. You can't really tell as much what it is, but... I thought it added a little bit of something. And so here's the story behind this. So my mother-in-law does not really like, it's not that she doesn't like water, but it made her really nervous having 
Kaylin walk along this pier, and I was right next to him, right in front of him, taking pictures of him. But it made her so nervous that he was walking on there all the way to the end with me. I'm not scared of water at all. We grew up swimming on swim teams. My mom's family lives on the beach in Florida, so I'm not scared of it all. But my my um, in-laws weren't around water quite as much. Um, and don't really spend a whole lot of time in the water. So it just made her so nervous to have Kaylin on this pier by himself. So I'm putting a caption that says, Brave Pier Walking. Her and Ernest stood at the end of the, um, or at the, at the entry to the pier and just watched us as we walked all the way to the end. Kaylin was fearless, though. It just, it didn't bother him at all. He was fascinated with it. And I'm using again the Lily B design letters and I'm using kind of a tone on tone effect so it doesn't take away from the photo but you can still read it. It's like cement that we're walking on but <clears throat> it almost looks like sand so I just use this tan color alpha. And of course, you know, it kind of sways a little bit. It's not quite as steady feeling. So I don't know. It was just kind of a funny thing. And even though that was almost two years ago now, that's, that's the major part that sticks out in my mind whenever I think about what we were doing that day. So I had to make sure to document that. And it just stuck. It's very subtle right there. But there's a a border strip that was just again the wave pattern so I stuck it at the bottom to kind of be a grounding point for this photo and then lastly on the right side I'm going to add a little bit of journaling in that empty pocket just going to use something as a background and then I'm going to add um, I have a couple pieces of paper that I just keep scrap papers that are journaling spots whether it's grid patterns or just lined ledger paper I, and you can see it right there I moved it very quickly but I keep them all kind of clipped together so I can use them for project life so I'm just going to cut this down and I'm going to print on it and you'll see the final um, view of it in the photos at the end so stick around at the end of this video you'll see the final um, layout. You'll see uh, pictures of the overall thing. And thanks for joining me today, guys. Bye!